Welcome to Kenan's Empowerment Training Courses for our partners. In this training, I would like to introduce the function of Kenan Cloud and Open Platform. At the beginning, what is Kenan Cloud? Kenan Cloud device management generally used for Kenan distributor, reseller, and end user. It's a one-stop management and configuration platform to help customers remotely and easily configure, manage all kinds of their Kenan robot device. At the same time, Kenan Cloud service help customers quickly analyze the business data and improve customer's business. We have two servers for Kenan Cloud. They are located in Germany and Japan. The servers are provided by Amazon Cloud. There are three different accounts for Kingdom Cloud, which are distributor, reseller, and end user. Distributor can add or remove functions for reseller and end user. Diverse account level can help user manage different accounts easier. In next part, I will share you how to create the account of Kingdom Cloud. For distributor user, staff of Kinon will send an email. Distributor can click the activation link in the email to activate the account. For reseller and end user, distributor can click the external user button to create accounts for reseller and the user. Jump to external user page, then click add button to create account. Distributor can choose the account tab in the customer tab area. After choosing the account tab, distributor need to fill the box with the information of reseller or end user. The system will send activation link to the email address. Please use verification code to log in when first time use the Kingdom Cloud. On the top right corner, you can choose the language that you prefer. In this page, I will introduce how to create a role for reseller and end user. Distributor can click the role list button to create a role for reseller and end user. Jump to role list page, then click add button to create a role. Distributor can name the role in the box and distributor can add function by selecting function in the box. After creating the role, it will appear in the role list. After creating the role, distributor can allocate the role with different accounts. Back to external user page, distributor can click edit button to change the role of account. After choosing the role in the box, the account will allocate with the role. In the next part, I will introduce the function of Kingdom Cloud. User can check the information of robot in the robot management backstage. In the home page, user can see the review of robot. In the robot management part, user can see all the activated robots and the robot except W3 in inventory. In the running statistics part, user can check the overview of task information. In the running record part, user can check the detailed information of each task, and the user can export the Excel file of running da data by clicking export button. User can check the information of W3 on the operation dashboard. User can configure the resource of robot under the resource configuration platform. To add theme, please use the user can click the add button. All scene will list in the scene list. 
User can click the name of scene to enter the configuration page. Under Audio Configuration, user can upload background music by clicking Add View. For default avoidance and collision audio, user can change the audio by uploading view or using TTS. Under Delivery conf Configuration, user can change the audio of different function by uploading fields or using TTS. And user can change the expression under the expression configuration. This function is only for T8 at present. User can check all the store under the store list. By clicking Add button, user can create a new star. User can apply the access of open platform on the open platform part. User need to fill all information in the box, then with the permission from Kina. After get the permission, user can create application by clicking Add button. In next part, I will share the function of open platform. Before using the function of open platform, user need to get the access token from platform. Inputting client ID and the client secret, the platform will return to talk the token. Inputting the token, the platform will return the store list. User can check the store list under the account. Inputting the store ID, platform will return the robot list, which can help user check the robot under the store. Inputting the store ID, platform will return the task data of the robot under the store. It can help user understand the running details of the robot. To remove control robot, User need to put the store ID first to get the scene code. Scene is just like a map of robot. Inputting the scene ID, the platform will return the point ID. The point ID is the point of the map. After getting the point ID, user need to check the start status of the robot. The robot has two statuses. Available and unavailable. Only available can be remote controlled. After checking all conditions, user can send task to robot. When user wants robot return to origin point, he can initiate returning origin point task. And the user can check the test status by inputting test number, and the platform will return the status of test. When user wants to stop a test, he can initiate a cancel command, and the robot will stop. By inputting the store ID and the robot SN, user can check the current position of the robot and the position will be shown as co coordinated for. For W3 robot, user can input star ID and the robot SN to check the carbon structure and the studies. And the user can remote control the carbon of W3 through sending command. This is the training for today. Thanks for your attending.